everyone and welcome to the last day of how to week. I am super excited because I am going to be showing you how to get ready for something that's happening right around the corner. Halloween. It's only six months away. You know, it's never too early to prepare for such things. And I'm going to show you what I do to get ready to become a vampire. So I'm going to quickly show you how I get ready to get ready to be a vampire and stuff. All the products are going to be uh, listed in the description, so check that out below. Let's get started! The first thing I did was put contact lenses in before I did any of my makeup. Next I used a Graftobian Cream Foundation Concealer stuff, I forget what it's called, but I put it all over my face to make myself a little more paler than usual. And I'm pretty pale. I use this Tarte bronzer to start working on definition. The cream foundation by itself just makes my face look a little flat, so I put a little definition into my face to make my cheekbones stand out more. Next, I am just working on my eyes. I just used a lot of grays um, using a gray base. I wanted to stick with a lot of neutral colors like grays and some browns just for this look. You can always use whatever kind of look you like but this is what I've found works good with my vampire look. Underneath my eyes I put a little of the gray as well as putting a little red to make my eyes look a little more bloodshot. This is a technique that is often used for dead looks, like zombies, and it just gives the eyes a more irritated look, like you're tired or you're dead. I'm using a mixture of a purpley blue and a green color to sort of make veins on my face to give my skin a more translucent look. Uh, it's often seen in movies like Interview the Vampire, where their skin is very super translucent, hence the paleness. I'm going back into my eyes and give them more definition. I'm using one of my favorite eyeshadows for the top of my crease, and it's like a purpley color called Burning Black, just to give my eyes a little more something something. Of course I'm filling in my eyebrows because, you know, eyebrows, they often get forgotten sometimes. I'm putting a, like a shimmery white color in the inner corners of my eyes. It is something that is used in the movie Queen of the Damned. I really like the look. It gives it more eerie look. I'm just giving myself a simple cat eyeliner look. You can do whatever you feel comfortable doing your eyeliner like. Just doing eyeliner and mascara the way you would normally do your eyes. Last but not least is my lips. I'm using a lip stain and this gives me the illusion that I've maybe had a little too much fruit punch and it's one of my favorite lip stains. And there you have it. This is my vampire look. Um, I usually just wear a lot of black with it. Um, I like the subtle vampire look rather than the the blood pouring from your mouth kind of vampire look. Of course, this is what it looks like without black eye contact lenses. I have blue eyes. That's one look you can do. Uh, you don't have to have eye contacts. I just use them because uh, I can't see without them. And of course, there's the evil look. Um, you can even use this to further your look into a more of a zombie look to make it more dead, but uh, I kind of like the red. They are kind of mischievous. Just makes you look a little bit evil. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. 
yeah, so I hope you like this whole how-to video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha